Today's young entrepreneurs have progressed far beyond the traditional lemonade stand. They're hiring employees, selling products around the world, and serving the community, all while going to school full time. Meet nine-year-old Braylon King. He owns Bray Bites Natural Animal Treats. I started, I saw my dog Rocket. He were on the ground hungry for something different than his regular dog food. On the weekends and between school and Taekwondo, Braylon bakes dog treats with his mom, who's also a business owner. I have chicken, which has carrots, applesauce, coconut oil, oats. Braylon says they're so healthy, even people can eat them. Cheers. <laughs> so it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's a little crunchy, but it doesn't taste bad. This is just the beginning for this fourth grader. Here you go, here's one of the chunky ones. Who plans to tackle treats for other animals. I can see that I have my own shop one day and people will buy them. I'll have loyal customers and clients. And when I turn probably 13, maybe 15, I'll have my own store. From animal food to human food, our next entrepreneur is 16-year-old Tyra Jefferson, <laughs> the owner of Tyra's Big World of Flavor. Not only is she a caterer and personal chef, she's also a motivational speaker and author. I started when I was 11 after I was on Food Network Star Kids and Kids Barbecue Championship, but I didn't want to just stop at Food Network. I wanted to keep going with my dreams and my goals. And that includes dominating multiple industries while becoming a household name. You are really doing it all. At 16, how are you able to balance all of this? School, your business, a social life. So my mother is very on me about my schoolwork, so I gotta make sure I get that done. I um, do a lot of extra things with my business. I'm part of different organizations, like the I'm the president of the Young CEOs of Tomorrow. So after school, we may have some meetings. Um, social life, that's, that's still in the process of coming together, but um, you know, it gotta become successful first. And part of being successful is knowing how to handle the money. I definitely can say that um, having a business has helped me with money management, but my accountant um, keeps all my money and my accountant is my mom. So she makes sure that I don't spend too much money. Tyra wants to make enough money to give back to her biggest supporter. And I also just want to become successful to the point where I could you know, help my mom get her her own house so she won't have to worry about scraping anything together to help me achieve my goals. Now to wash down all this good food, you can get a mug from our next young boss. Ava Beyer is the owner of Joyful Creations. She sells everything from handmade jewelry to stickers and cups, all with the goal of spreading joy. I spend at least probably two hours doing like hands-on things, like either packing orders or making something every day. But then I also spend the five minute breaks in between classes ordering things or updating social media. Ava, who comes from a family of successful entrepreneurs, started her business during the pandemic as a way to stay busy, but it took off. These are one of my personal favorites. They're Those fun, really they're cute. smaller, but they're also super lightweight. And now she's shipping products around the world. Here's where I display um, where George Locations has been in the world. Um, I've been to all 50 states. That was within a few months. Um, and then Canada and the UK and Germany, Israel, kind of all over the place. On top of school, running a business, maintaining a social life, and being involved with church, she also invests some of her money in the community. I have been able to partner with some people and donate some. So this past week, all the orders, 30% um, of it went to sending high schoolers to Young Life Camp. These young bosses have each tapped into different markets. And when they're successful as they grow up, uh, they will be uh, able to provide for themselves financially, uh, their, their family, and they will lift their communities. Uh, and, and that is what we, why we need them. That's Frank Neff, the president of the South Carolina Small Business Chamber of Commerce. They are the ones who are going to be growing their businesses if they're online. They're going to grow them into a store, a uh, brick and mortar. They're going to be hiring people, uh, and they're going to be they're going to be you know beefing up the economy in the future. A reminder that you can follow your dreams and have impact, whether you're 66 or 16. All businesses do not succeed. That doesn't mean you don't try again. 
For News 19, I'm Whitney Sullivan.